They don't, they honestly, they don't smell good. They smell chemically, like chemicals. Like. I am honestly shocked I have not made this video before. So I've done um, like B-dubs, buffalo wings, I've done their blazing, I've done um, Quaker steak and lubes, whatever the hottest sauce they have there. Uh, this is from Wingstop. Um, this is their atomic wings. I've never seen them, I've never had them. I don't even know if I've had wings from Wingstop before. So I got this on DoorDash, sent to me. I've never seen them, let's see what I got here. There's that. I think I got like a side, this is like a side of vegetables. <laughs> Side of carrots. I'll set that aside. Okay, so this is their atomic uh, so, atomic wings, or wings with their atomic sauce on them. I don't know. I honestly don't know. If I've ever had Wingstop before. It's like a Texas company, um, I believe. I did a small amount of research, and they are saying two hundred thousand to three hundred and fifty thousand Scoville, and that is only because the number one ingredient is habaneros. Whoa! Why is it brown? This is what they look like. Why are they brown? I don't know why they're brown. <coughs> smells hot. It smells kind of hot. I am more intrigued. They're not very visually appealing. I will say that. Okay. So this is what I know about them. Um, all right. I, I had to look it up, like what's actually in the sauce. And this is what I got. I found a picture of like a tub of it. So the ingredients are habanero peppers. I mean, hot sauce, which is Louisiana peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, guar, uh, sodium. These do not smell good. Um, and xanthan gum, uh, yellow number five, red number 40. Water, distilled vinegar. So there's a, like a with Louisiana, like basically like a vinegar sauce. And then there's more vinegar, cayenne pepper, spices, cornstarch, garlic salt, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and, and as preservatives. So, but habaneros are the number one ingredient in this. And I, I, I haven't looked up like anyone else's reviews on this or anything like that, but I think people like these wings. So I'm interested to see if I'm going to like it. So I'm gonna to try to find the most coded version of it. And I'm just gonna go full bore. All right, let's get as much sauce as we can. I'm gonna go with a flat, because I'm gonna try to do my, my try. these are so, sauced. So what you can do is you can get in there and get one of the bones out and then you can just take the whole thing. So I'm gonna have to do it in like two bites. So anyways, okay, these are messy and I'm not really sure why the sauce is brown. They don't, they honestly, they don't smell good. They smell chemically, like chemicals. Like, it doesn't smell good. Okay, I'm just gonna eat this entire wing and we're gonna take it from there. Maybe it tastes better than it smells. Tastes kind of better than it smells. All right, I'm gonna do one more before I kind of get into talking. I'm gonna do a drummy now. It's got my nose running pretty good. There's no extract in this. And that kind of surprises me because it's got, I've got like an extract burn happening in my mouth right now. As far as flavor goes, it's not the worst chicken wing I've ever had, but it's by far away from the best I've ever had. It's pretty hot though. You know, I'm like, I won't say it's like challenge, but it's pretty hot. I still got my eyes going. I can't tell if it's from the, the heat or the vinegar. So a lot of vinegar going on. A lot of um, like that Louisiana style, like pepper sauce, vinegar sauce is definitely like what the base is. And then I'm trying to think like, is there tomato, spices, cornstarch, garlic? I guess there's a little bit of garlic going on here, but I'm, I'm I don't know why the sauce is brown. I'm like, what is making it brown? I guess yellow, red, yellow number six and red number 40? Like, <clears throat> if they wanted this to be like a, um, like a visually appealing challenge sauce, like I think that it would be a red, not a brown. I don't know, the more I think about it, the more I, I dislike these chicken wings. I don't get a habanero flavor from it. I don't get a really a pepper flavor from it either. I'm kind of, if there's no extract in here, I'd be kind of surprised because this is burning very much so like an extract. And the, the, the taste of it is very kind of like artificial and chemically. And there's like this bitterness that kind of happens with like some extracts. Um, I, I'm going to say I am not a fan of this at all. Um, that's just my honest opinion. 
like if I've had like the like the B Dubs Blazing Wings and also the um, Quaker Steak and Lube, uh, whatever their hottest ones were. I think the Quaker Steak and Lube ones are the best. These, I don't think I can recommend this. This is not very good. Um, but it's got some it's got some heat. Um, I want to say it's probably hotter than the B Dubs and the Quaker Steak and Lube. Maybe I can do like a lineup and do all three together or something like that. I think that'd be a fun video actually, like trying the hottest wings at three different wing places or as many wing places as I can get. And kind of ranking them because these are pretty hot. And like, I'm gonna say I got up to like a, I'm gonna say it's, I got up to a four. I'm gonna say a four is where it put me at, which is pretty good considering that the, like, it, we're only talking habanero heat here. And the number one ingredient is habaneros. Maybe they use some sort of like habanero extract, something going on, but. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there really seems like there's an extract in here because it's burning just like one. I think I tasted it. Not super tasty. Okay. This has been the Wingstop Atomic Wings. Um, if you had these wings, like if you have had these wings, they, I think these have been around for a while. It's kind of amazing that I've never done this. And if I have done this, it'd be my job. I can't wait to the day where I do a video on something I've already done on accident because I'd love to go back and contrast and compare like where my tolerance is, my, the style of video, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I've ever done that on accident yet, so I'm kind of waiting for the day that I accidentally do that. Can I recommend? Uh, in the description below is going to be a link to Wingstop. Um, I'm, I'm going to need to try some of their other wings because, like, the presentation, I, I feel, and the, the actual chicken wing itself is actually really good. Like, I think it's a well-made product, just the sauce itself, not good. So if you've had any of their other sauces you can recommend, please let me know as well. So, um, okay. But I'm good. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.